Shadow Arake, North Hull resident, 21st kid, Flygerian boy, one third of lockdown. That's sick. He's man. a full time artist, musician, poet, trendsetter, and occasional regular upsetter. Mm. Mm. His original whole born and bred rap sound has rocketed him to the top tiers of the whole rap scene, taking him as far as BBC Red One's playlist, mm. BBC's Big Weekend, mm. and now he's about to become Hull's first and I'm pretty sure only rapper yes. to get one million streams on Spotify with his new hit, Darcy. Hold your applause. Even being spotlighted by Austin Darbo himself on Twitter yeah, and man. being made the face <laughs> of Spotify's Grime Shutdown playlist. The man that will not be held back. It's the big CEO. <laughs> Put your hands together for Shadow Raka speaking. Hey. Hey. <laughs> the realest. Yes, bro. Lockdown. Always. Yes, bro. So, how would you rate my intro? Your I'm intro was good, man. Yeah, one I liked out, it. Out of one to ten. Probably give I give it a good nine. A good nine. That's fine, nine. Mate. I, you know what I mean? I'm new in the game of like intro, so yeah. this, that was my favourite one. You get a ten when you can do it without your phone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have time, though, man. You're like one of them rappers r- r- spitting the bars off the phone, man. Mate, I do it on the way here, mate. I just remembered, like, shit, someone's got to introduce this guy. All right, let me write it down. Do a quick... Can Google search, see what he's written about himself. Mm. Flagerian boy. No, I'm not from Ghana. No, no, never. <laughs> All right, so let's start off by asking the guest here, how did we meet? How did Bud Sugar and Shady meet from your perspective? Tell us, like, the first time. I think, to my recollection, I reckon the first one I spoke to was probably Lanz, I think, because Lanz used to, like, put out, like, some little videos, like, rapping. That's the fit. He's the first one I spoke to, but I think the first time I actually met, and I think I met you all at the same time, yeah. was when one of you was living in them Springbank flats. Uh, yeah, yeah, me and Bill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and we did a session for for Young Beats. Yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. you and me, you yeah, and yeah. Lanz. Grab an acoustic guitar. Yeah. In Fall Boy. Fall Boy's old style. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. 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 Mad in it how it all comes back around. So that was the first time I met you. Definitely. First impressions? Yeah, cool guys. Yeah. Cool guys. <laughs> but I think I'd seen you before that, because I went uni. We went yeah. uni together, yeah. yeah. Uni boys. I, I, always, I always had a chip on my shoulder, actually. Lincoln I boys. told you before, didn't I? Yeah, that what? You always thought I had a chip on my shoulder, or you, or I, you had a chip I on had my shoulder? I had a chip on my shoulder about you a little bit, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> when was at uni, I invited him to like a party that was happening. Yeah, and like, sure. it, didn't and went, it didn't come, but I was like, I was being a bit like, you know, the party in that gutsy, trying to get everyone to like come. So I was being a bit sort of but desperate when did, to him. When did we meet before that though? Because you must have, or did you invite me on Facebook or what happened? We'd like, pa- like we'd passed, we'd crossed paths like very I'm rarely. thinking there was a train journey, you know. What, together? Was there not? Or am I just imagining that? Possibly, mate. How we first ever spoke? I don't remember speaking to you back then. I just, well, I just so got a number somehow. I don't know, mate. I was like stalking you, man. <laughs> I was like, I just got to get this. I got to get to a party, man. I said, mate, when when you gonna when are you gonna be getting here, mate? It's do you know what I mean? Party's sick, man. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, I bet it is. Dead. <laughs> You've texted me nine times. <laughs> yeah, mate. No, um, yeah, that was it. Was definitely like. Young Beats, Poor mm. Boy, that era, mm. going yeah. back to like 20... 13. Yeah, 2012, you know, 2013. Yeah. Early days, man. Um, so was lockdown, was lockdown in effect at that point? Yeah, lockdown's been in effect since like... Yeah, you say this a lot, actually. Lockdown's been in effect since probably about 2005. Yeah. So I used to rap with a kid called Danny Craft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there used to be another kid who we used to go to his house and record in his house called right. Rory. He like fancied himself as a, he'd, he'll hate me admitting this, but I don't <laughs> care, man. So Rory and Danny Craft. Yeah. And it, Rory's little brother will hate me admitting this as well because he just like don't do anything to yeah. rap anymore. Now yeah. does Rory. They're both like proper like tradesmen and that. Oh, like. they'd be embarrassed if people. Yeah, knew. yeah, but does it? But <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it was we, there was us four. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously you grow up, don't you? And they didn't really, they weren't really into it. Me and Crafty just carried on doing it. We moved the setup from Rory's house, his mum's house, to Crafty's mum's house. And so on Orchard Park. So we're about 17, 18 at this yeah, point. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. And are you doing are you doing grab and that? I'm I'm dabbling, doing yeah. both. Mainly hip hop though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we move to Crafty's and then we do like we both do a mixtape. Right. But like the end result was 
he was moving to Australia when he, by the time he released his mixtape. Right. And I was obviously just going, going on this path on my own. Yeah. So his was called Demonstrating Versatility and mine was called Not Your Average Spin. And right. that was really the beginning of me, really. Yeah. That was like after, so that happened after uni. So that was like 2011 when that mixtape came out. And so he stopped rapping? He just went to Australia. He just stopped? Yeah. And then like lockdown sort of like, went downhill a little bit when I went to uni. Yeah. So Crafty was flying the flag on his own in Hull. Yeah, yeah. And then when I came back, we reformed, like, locked down again, and then... What well, was Crafty again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I was always flying the flag. I just wasn't rapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then for ages, lockdown was just me. Yeah. I was just saying lockdown, lockdown, lockdown for, for, for time. And then DZ came into the fold. Yeah. To, so. Come on, talk to us about Deezy then, man. Deezy I mean, where is he, mate? I've got used to seeing you without him, man. Yeah, he's here with a yeah. Stella. <laughs> well, he's the right hand man, isn't he? Like, he's my business partner, he's everything, you know what I mean? But yeah. uh, he's just busy doing some uni work, so he couldn't come tonight. But yeah, so he was like a fan originally. Right. So he, I think how it happened is he messaged me on Facebook saying, oh, I like, you, I like your mixtape. Yeah. I make beats, blah, blah, blah. Nothing really ever materialised. And then he started doing some voluntary work at the Warren. Right. Yeah. I think, he, yeah, you lot met him as well, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. And then he, the first song we ever made was Dumb and Dumber. Right, right. So from, from then the chemistry was just like good. And I just said, mate, I'm doing this lockdown thing on my own. Well, Crafty was repping, but he was in like New Zealand, Fiji, living the life. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I was on my own just repping lockdown. And then I said, do you want to just, let's just do this. Mm. And then he came along. Me and him for ages, we made like 01482, Dumb and Dumber, Bagger, Bagger, um, Bagger. Mark Montana, Bagger, mm-hmm. and then, oh yeah, but there's been, oh, I know where, how can I forget, there's been other, there's been other, there's been other members, there's been other members, oh. the Joes, <laughs> so the Joes, innit, yeah, the Joes. yeah. so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, sorry, because this story is like, no, it's cool, man, it's cool, I only remember the second tour, I don't even remember the first tour, you know, so the first Joe was Joe Albudry, oh right, yeah. that's the Joe, I remember yeah. the first, and he the made, yeah. he made It's Lockdown, I remember that. and it's locked up. It's locked and up. he made Stressful as well, yeah, so decent. He's a very talented guy, but there was a bit of a fallout. Right. Like he, he I think he wanted it a bit too quick, like the success. Yeah. But then I don't think his heart was totally in it as well. Like he, he, he wanted to get money, so he got a job on the ships. I think. Right. Uh, what well, and then that, that's why he left. Yeah, that's why he left him. And Deezy had a bit of a falling out over like a mic and stuff. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's no holds by, but I'll tell you the truth, man. You asked me, I'll do tell it, you. man. That's yeah. what we want, mate. We had a bit of a falling out over the mic. Uh, so who's this middle uh, Joe then? And then we had, and then another kid called Joe Reed. Yeah. Uh, and he was just really, I wanted him to be like sort of our manager. Okay. But I think he'll openly admit him because he's a proper sound kid. Like I got, I got a lot of love for Joe. Yeah. I think he'll openly admit that he. he at the time, he was just going through a lot of personal issues. Right. So he couldn't commit. To yeah, it. He couldn't commit. And then we met Joe the Third after. Now we met Joe the Third again. Mm. I think he was a bit of a fan of the music, and he started. He works in SARS, and obviously, I'm a I'm a lover for trainers. So, so, yeah. so that's actually where the Third comes from. Yeah, yeah Joe, Joe the Third because it's the Third <laughs> Joe. Know that. <laughs> I do that. I do that. Really? So, yeah. You neither. No. Really? Oh, that, nice. that makes perfect Why sense. Why did you think he was the third then? <laughs> well, just, just because he was the third then? Or like his granddad? Yeah, like, it's like, true. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't think that, mate. Just about three Joes? <laughs> like, granddad, yeah, Joe, did... dad, Joe, Joe, third. All right, it sounds better than, than, than Joe Jr. 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 It's educating people, man. So like I met him, I used to go in SARS quite a lot and then obviously and he wasn't a dj no we had we had like a mutual love because we both love trainers yeah. we both love grand music yeah. and then we just started being mates uh and then because I, I think the first time i met him was at the stormzy gig when i supported stormzy uh, 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 in, um, uh, yeah was it was sugar mill at the time wasn't it? yeah it was sugar, sugar mill at the yeah. time so and who knows what it would call by the time this podcast comes out <laughs> <laughs> so yeah man so he just, we said, oh man, come, because me and Deezy just got on with him. Yeah. We just thought he was a cool kid. So he was like, oh, I want to do something with music, but I don't know what it is, what I want to do. So I was just like, why don't you just be a DJ? Me and Deezy was like, what it? so me and Deezy bought him some decks. I love that. Why don't you, why don't you just be a DJ? That's exactly <laughs> what you need. <laughs> why don't you just be a DJ? Yeah. Here's some decks. You like some pimp? Yeah. Basically, yeah, we, we pimped him, yeah. So he was just like, there you go, do it. Yeah. And then... 
he just like latched onto it real well. Like he just did his research, yeah, just practiced yeah, yeah. all the time. Like the, the first decks we got him, I think I can't even remember the brand, but they were, they were rats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were how much? How much did you I think we paid? Like I bought big up Tom Rose. He plays my footy team. Yeah. Uh, we bought him off him, and like they want that great, and then. But they've been a few places. I'm asking for a price, mate. Oh, for, I think they were about 50, 60 quid. Fair. That's, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah. To say that he started on that, because what he's got his own stuff now, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, Joe's like got yeah. everything. Yeah. 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 It's, cool it's good, mate. He's like one of those obsessive characters. Like, if he, if he has something, it needs to be the yeah, best. Yeah. Cool, has to be the right. best. It's good that so. he's passionate about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and you've helped, you've helped sort of generate yeah. that passion. Yeah, man. Well, so like, that you like laid out the money for him. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like a real mate thing to do. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, we was in need, so we had no choice. Yeah, exactly. DJ. Don't you want to be a DJ, though, mate? <laughs> so yeah so he came along for the ride man and he's been with us since I think he's been in lockdown for about two years now his first gig was like when we supported KRS1 yeah then I think his second gig was Radio 1 Big Weekend wow so he, he so he, no, he's throwing in the deep end but he hasn't he hadn't known the struggle. He, he hadn't known the struggle, do you yeah. know what I mean? So he still gets a little bit miffed off, you know, when like we we do a crap gig. Really? I'm like, bro, you don't even know, man. I perform like in front of a man and his dog, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> sometimes it's just sometimes it's just the dog, man. Yeah. Just the dog yeah. coming up. Yeah. Bloody hell. That's, hard. Man, That's funny, man. That's just empty room. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. He yeah. hadn't really yeah. done many of them gigs, so lucky him, do you know what I mean? Yeah, big ones. time, man. It's nice to just come up like that. Mm. The Darcy moment. Dancing. When did it? So like, obviously, it's on Spotify. You've already been doing well on Spotify, right? Because mm-hmm. you've sort of been getting no. So it's Flex before that one. Yeah. 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 Flex had its own moment as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What, how, how many streams did that get? Flex is on like one one hundred and seventy. Yeah. yeah. So that was like your little warm up moment. Yeah, man. Yeah, we and was like gassed off that. Yeah. People started to sort of say your name, and we we discussed this a few times when we've been chatting this, upstairs in the studio mm. about how like. Obviously, whoever it is at Spotify is obviously talking about you mm. and bringing up your name. Who oh, should we change to Spotify? Well, that was a fluke, the flex, though. Why? Because you got into a playlist, because, didn't you? Yeah, because I'm, I, I... Them times there, I didn't even know what Spotify was, man. I ain't even going to lie. Like, really? I, I, I think a lot of people... I knew, I knew about this... I knew about the, the Graham shutdown playlist, though, because I'm, I've heard loads... I heard loads of MC speaking about it, like yeah. it being like such a decent playlist, but I never had Spotify. I was still old school then. When like, was that? A year yeah, ago? Like, no, so this was... Two, April flex. 2017 was Flex. Yeah. yeah so... Spotify is only just, like, becoming proper mainstream, like, now. Yeah. So I was on Spotify when when we was at uni, but really, yeah. Whoa, yeah. yeah I'm I'm well lit. Mate, to the really I only got I ain't gonna lie. I only got Spotify because of that. So I like tweeted the main guy, <laughs> big big Austin. <laughs> Kid, hell man. So <laughs> I got Spotify. <laughs> Keeping it real. Tweeted Austin. No, no. So no, I'm no, I'm telling you the truth. Like I didn't have Spotify before he put me on that playlist. Really? No, I didn't know anything about. So I, where was the song? I only knew about. No, he was uploading it. No, no, no we, we uploaded it to like all the online distributors. Yeah, but you just didn't. You- but I, I, not tell a lie. I knew about Spotify. Yeah. But well, I won't, just didn't have it. I just didn't have it. Because yeah. he tweeted Austin. So I tweeted Austin. I said like, check out this track. He said, oh, I love. He just said, yeah, it's sick. Love the artwork. Mm. That's it. And then about what, two, three days, le- two, three, two or three days later, some kid messaged me. I said, mate, you're on the Graham shutdown playlist. I was like, nah, you're chatting. Sent me a screenshot. Because he said he was in the shower yeah. listening to it on shuffle. And yeah, then, then my song on. came on. Yeah. And obviously he was getting gassed. And like, I remember I was driving round East Hull, I think, with my girl. Bilton, to be exact. East Hull? What are you doing down there? But my girl's from, but my girl's from them areas. Right. It's like, it's like Romeo and Juliet, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was, because she was like, she was telling me like where she used to like hang out and all this stuff. Yeah. Like, it's probably foreign ends to me, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But then I just get this text, you know, mate, you're on that. And then he sent me the screenshot and then the rest is history. Yeah. Then I set, I tried to use the same formula again, though. On Austin? Yeah, tweeting him like every time I released a track and I just got bare custard pies. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> just lo- loads of custard pies and then... So then, you, then Darcy goes up. So how does that end up in this playlist? So what happened, obviously, I'm, I speak to Stu Baxter and I was with Ditto, because yeah. I knew a lot with Ditto, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. And he was like, oh, why, why don't you go with labels? We're talking about distributors for people that don't know. Yes, he said, oh, why don't you just go with label works? Right. 
which is another. It's just the same. As, it's just another distributor. But the, yeah. but the whole base, right? But the whole base, and I think their head. I think their their main sort of core is like dance, okay, house and all that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah. But I thought because the local, let me just go with them. Uh, yeah. Started messaging Dom Dom Curley, big up you from uh, Label Wet, sick guy. Mm-hmm. We've just formed a bit of a relationship. I said Darcy's the one, mate. Like this is this is gonna be a tune. Like, yeah. We're gonna me and Darcy, me and Deezy didn't expect it to, to do what it's done. Yeah. But we just like this is gonna be the tune. Please, can you pitch it? So I remember it was my mate Reese's wedding, August the first. Right. And we released it the week before, and I was like. Cause I'm a bit of a geek. Like I'm, now, I, now I've got Spotify. Yeah, yeah. I always check yeah. up on playlists. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I went on that gram shut down playlist. I was gutted. I was like, I'm, it's not on there. I'm gutted. Te- I literally emailed him saying, "Mate, what happened? Like, did they not feel the tune? Just tell me." Yeah. Proper taking it to heart. Yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, "Mate, what you want about? Send me the link to the playlist." And I was on it. <laughs> How did that feel, man? man that was buzzing, Mate, man. what you want about? You're right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. Rang up Deezy, me and Deezy are like proper buzzing. Yeah, I can imagine. And then, yeah, man, and then I just thought, yeah, it's going to get a couple. I didn't think it'd like... You think it'd do like similar to Flex, yeah, basically? Yeah, I thought it'd do similar to Flex, then it just started getting momentum and momentum. It's, momentum, been, momentum. it's been on there for a Ages while now, hasn't it? And right, it's been at the top as yeah, well. Yeah, it's been at the like top like four, best song on the playlist. four or five times. So is it positioned there? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's down to eight at the minute. But it's just, it's just it was at first. And it, got, yeah, it was in the, was it... The viral yeah, top 50, top 50 most viral tracks in UK. Then it went in the Ireland one. Mm. Mike Skinner put it in his playlist. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That's it. JK that's shared it. JK yeah. shared it, mate. You're telling me, man. I can't <laughs> even. Oh, like honestly, the track's just been yeah. mad. Yeah, yeah, it's done well. So you got to keep riding it, man. Definitely. So that man. brings us to the video then, which just literally came out two hours ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just been talking about. Grand can someone Daily. check? Can, can someone check I, the views no, yeah, you, currently? Cool. 1600 last time I checked. It was at 1.9 when I looked just before we started recording. Nearly 200 likes. Uh, over 200 likes. Yeah. And like 17. 17. Shiro don't want to know. Don't want to know. No, 17 dislikes. No, because to me, it's like, this is just the natural progression in regards to, I'm not like proper gassed about, I know people, you know, when I was a bit younger, I would have been proper, proper gassed on a video on Graham Daily. Yeah. Mm. But now I know the business. Now you understand yeah. that way. And I know how it works. And it's I'm not, not proper gassed about yeah. it. Like, I'm just happy that the video's found me out because we've had so much dramas with the video. Yeah. Like, so it's uh, a business move. Yeah, it's, of course it is. Music is business, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, I know this, mate, but for the sake of the viewers watching, the might Yeah, my music, it's not all, like, the music industry, just if you want to get into it, I'm telling you, it's the most fakest thing in the world. Yeah. Realise that it's just a business, man. And there's so many smiley faces, but behind you, back, they really don't care. Yeah. So you just have to look after yourself and just keep on going. So you ready to... You've got a bit of names. names in this game. No, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to name names. But what I'm saying is I've, I've, now I'm older and I've been in, quote unquote, the music industry for a while now. Yeah, yeah. When you I first... When I first started out, I thought everyone was like friends and you look on YouTube and everyone's like real happy and getting along. Yeah. It's all fake. Yeah, of course, man. And I don't really want to be a part of that, man. No. No, 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 no. I want people to respect me for my craft. Yeah. And if they don't, that's their loss. You just don't want to be part of their little gang, basically. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not really into I've got my. I've got my friends. Yeah. I'll do business with them. Yeah. Not saying I'm going to rule out doing business with them. I understand the game, but... I don't need to be mates with them. Keep a nice bit of distance, basically. That's it, man. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Well, we, we obviously already know that. I mean, like, mm. we were talking about last week with Ollie, and I don't think this was on this was on cam, uh, but he was just talking about, like, being uh, feeling like an outsider and mm. not realise that, like, we sort of existed on the outside mm. as, as mm. yourself mm. does. We've got, like, our own little, like, outsiders, like, little outsiders little, little ring going on. Outsiders yeah, yeah. live forever, yeah, in yeah. the words of manga, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. they, they, they do, they do, but... You know what? <clears throat> we've all been guilt. We've all been guilty for complaining yeah, and yeah. moaning about feeling being the outsiders. Yeah, yeah. Does it matter? No, yeah. man. Because that's what makes us who we are, man. That's it. It's what makes us do what we do. So the music video is out. Mm. It's good actually because I've got here. What have you learned throughout your career? And you've just sort of told us like. Yeah, I've just you, you know got what? Any what, no, what no. Like in regard, like who am I at the end of the day, man? Like I've been in it for a little while. I haven't achieved loads of stuff. But what I would say to any of the youngsters coming into the game, just don't be bothered about opinions, man. Yeah. Your opinion and a close little net of people's opinion. Yeah, yeah. It's all that matters. Yeah. So just quick update, it's on two point three K, two hundred and fifty two mm. likes. 
It's not bad, is it? Only released released a couple of about an hour ago, really. About two hours ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll do fifty seven comments too. Active that man. Very but I bet they're all taking the mic. I saw one comment. <laughs> so Chav's go, Chav's going in hard. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't think that's me. Chav in the fucking song though. I, I don't know if that's Deezy in his Emily Lloyd quote though. You know, <laughs> he's definitely got a bit of a swag going on there, hasn't he? But well, you know what? I'm not even dissing Deezy for wearing Emily Lloyd because I'd wear it. No man, that's yeah. his style. It looks I good in the video as well, mate. Deezy like, looks good matching kickers and that. We rep. Do you know what I mean? We have got swag. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Northern. Speaking of Northern, mate, what, what do you know about Look North, mate? Yeah, man, big up Ollie Marshall. Man. He rated it. Yeah, I'm rating his movement, man. Ollie's a, a, a good mate of mine. Like, he's he's yeah. doing bits. Do you know what I mean? I respect Ollie a lot. Yeah. I respect because what he's just manipulated it, man, and just marked it. It's mad than Sick that. Sick of it, man. It's amazing. Like and <coughs> when he was telling us about it, it, like, it proper just sounds like he's something he's doing for a laugh. That's just like, mm. he's just killing. Mm. Yeah. So, like, his attitude towards it's so epic. No, Ollie's killing it, man. Like, me and Ollie speak quite frequently. Like, if it's on WhatsApp or we've even rang each other a few times and that, we just try and motivate each other. Yeah. I always ask him what he's doing. He's always asking me what we're doing and he understands he gets it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he gets it. He had high words of praise for you. Nah, he's a top boy, man. Yeah, man. He's done me a few favours as well, so I've got a lot of respect and time for him. And you saw last time he, did, he basically said, you know, whole music scene. Yeah. He's, he's only got love for Bud Sugar and Lockdown. Yeah, I so. saw that. I heard it, man. <laughs> Do you big, know what I mean? Big up Ollie, man. Big up the spray yeah. creatives as well. Yeah. Speaking Done, of um, whole music scene, mm. do you want to enlighten us as to your opinion a little bit? Uh, what do you rate on the scene? So, I mean, you know, you, I, I heard you speaking about uh, your Spotify unwrapped mm. like thing. Yeah, yeah. One of my main tracks that I was listening to, it came up because I did listen to it a lot, was King No One. Oh, yeah. Alcatraz right I, I just like because I like that it, it's sort of like poppy it reminds me of like 80s music yeah, yeah. like you know that one yeah this yeah. like disco sort of 80s music and I, and I love that <coughs> was that in your like rap that was in, yeah but I'd, but then everyone always tells me that they can't, they're not Hull oh King No One yeah are the Hull because like, I've like got York members on yeah, oh do. is it but yeah. I liked them yeah. them man I thought that song in a way definitely yeah, yeah. obviously you guys uh, obviously we've been on bear shows together, aren't we, man? Yeah, like, so man. Sick of I've seen, yeah, I've honest. seen the journey, man. <laughs> yeah, likewise. <laughs> I'm not. I love it every time, man. Uh, in regards life, they're my boys. Yeah, always got to big them up. Stu, Mez, Nick, good guys, man. They're smashing it. Uh, in regards to rap music, though, if there's a good little resurgence, I suppose. Cameo Brooks in bad. Uh, Max. Of, like I love, I love just how hard he works. Yeah. But for me, much. the main guy at the minute, and I'll say it on cam, people need to watch out for him. Is Connor Feeling? Oh yeah, I rate him highly. I'm vaguely familiar with you. You're saying he's like the whole Snoop. I think dog he's like the it? whole Snoop Dogg man. Wow. He's yeah. just got that smoothness, man, and like the whole he could, the wholeness comes out as well in him. Is he a mixed race? Though? Yeah, he's a mixed race yeah. kid. He's sick, man. Has he got like an afro? Yeah, 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 like a little afro. Yeah, I think. I, and he's like an instrumentalist. Yeah, 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 yeah. He does all that, man. Well, I'll have to check him out. He's a guy who I think is going to do big in 2019. Uh, Locally, mm. definitely. Get your co out, man. <laughs> definitely, man. I've got to, man. Like, he's good. If you're good, I'm going to be co-signing you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone who I've mentioned, I rate. So. Sick. Uh, and just quickly before we move on, Northern Soul, you've seen it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're saying is good. Very, very, very good. Yeah. Yeah, I watched it on that Sunday, you know, when it came out oh, like, yeah. on, on like national TV. Did you get into like the Twitter, the sort of Twitter thing that was going on? No, I, I, I didn't that. get into it, any of that. No. I just watched the film. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb. What Twitter? <laughs> Did no, the, I didn't even know that existed until today. <laughs> no, nah, I'm on Twitter. Follow me at Iraq LD anyway. But quick plug. <coughs> no, that guy is very, very, very special. You know, mm. like the city needs to really like. Back him. Yeah. What he's doing is, is like fantastic. Right. Are you ready now? Now we've got through the difficult stuff. Yeah. The the is, is there gonna be the biography of your life, your journey, your story. Now it's time to move on to some topics. Yeah, right. man. We're all through. What was you getting? Like, you just think you were like, is there gonna be any topics? Or no. He's like, is that it? Is Did that you like, think that was it? Through. No, I knew that one. It man. Like, <laughs> but we're all through, man. You know, I'm ready, man. Anything you got <laughs> to throw at me, I'm ready. <laughs> Like I say, I'm gonna do. You know what? I feel like saying. I feel like being like six nine. Like this is gonna be your most viewed podcast. Yeah. Go on and say it. Yeah, yeah, man. It will be your most. And if that's it's not, gonna be the title, man. And if it's not, you're a hater because yeah. you, you, you're with the realist. 
Yeah. <laughs> Shane says this is going to be our most viewed podcast. It is. Man. Raheem Sterling. Oh, duh. Have you seen? Have you have you been watching? See my. Uh, I I need to be updated. So have you seen? Have you seen like my Instagram stories and that recently? Like no. So, so, yeah. so you, you all need to watch uh, a documentary. What Ian Wright's done. Do you know Ian Wright is? I've seen, yeah, yeah. I've seen, I've seen the documentary. What's it called? Have you, no, but it's recent though. It's a yeah, two parter. Yeah, yeah, yeah out of it. out of their skin, right. unreal man. It'll make you like so angry. Like obviously, I'm a proper lover of football, as you know. Yeah, yeah. And like, and I did what, my dissertation at you. So I, so, to be fair, I knew a lot of the stuff that was yeah. portrayed in the in the documentary because for my dissertation at you when he had lack of black football managers <coughs> okay. why is there a lack of black football managers right so a lot of the stuff that he was saying I already knew but I just thought it was really in depth and I think everyone needs to watch it in fact I need to, I think they need to show it in schools what does that cover this this Raheem Sterling it, well so? yeah does it well this is like overt racism isn't it like yeah. what happened to what happened to Raheem yeah he's so the do you want to explain stuff. for the sake of what he basically was getting racially slayed by fans at the game mm. right and like just like be like he just laughed in the faces mm. which was like great reaction yeah it's like the only thing he could have done at the time really yeah, yeah. like what's he gonna do make a big scene what out? sort of slurs i think they called him like a black bastard or something yeah, yeah. Like, something you don't hear bad, audio bad thing, yeah. but you can like tell that that's what's going on right but i think the other thing was the news the news articles i've seen two side by side well, yeah, like the media him, are always him, trying to like him from the start of his career he's just always slit. Slit. Yeah, yeah, always but always when i was in just give him a hard time and not mm. give him any respect even before the world cup like because of having a gun tattooed mm. on his legs trying yeah. to call him like violent and stuff mm. yeah. Yeah. i remember when i was in the in the gym this morning i seen that in fluffy neck Piers Morgan oh. talking about it. <laughs> right. Don't get me and started brought, on that moron, man. He brought, up, he brought up these two articles, yeah. right? And he's like, I don't see anything different here. Mm. And literally one of them, yeah, is this is this title, yeah. Yeah. Ryan Sterling, right? No, it's not that, Ryan. Right no. this, Spl- is, this, is, this is his team, mate. Right, splashes, splashes out on a mansion for blah, blah, blah. And then literally, post next to it, yeah. some like a, a white guy, Man City footballer, mm. just so-and-so buys house. For his mum. Yeah. Yeah, for his mum. And it's like, the, you Racially basically got, the, you basically got the, the same story, but one of them's like, this is fine. And the other one's like, he's a dickhead. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What, what, one's one's a, a nice son and the other one's big pimping, basically. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Wasting his money. Well, yeah. yeah. Like, he's flexing. Yeah. Yeah. Buying, yeah. buying a house is wasting money. <laughs> well, so did, we I guarantee you, yeah, if he was buying four by fours, people were like, he's wasting his money, he should buy a house. Yeah. yeah. Well, even when Raheem Sterling bought his mum a house, he, put, he was just going around on Instagram mm. and posting various bits and he got like this, I think it was sequins, it wasn't actual diamonds and was there and look at it. Mm. Big news report, mm. football splashing diamonds over sink. <laughs> and it, it just won true. Just won't leave yeah. him alone, man. Yeah, like, nah, and he's one of our best players as well. That's the thing, he's truly, he's one of the best talents yeah. with loads of potential mm. given like the right um, love by mm. the country. Yeah. He could really flourish. Mm. Why do you think they're like, hating on him, dude? I think it's racist, man. Yeah, man. yeah. it's because yeah. he's black. Yeah, there's no other reason. On to the it. part of who? Like a collective well, on thing. On the part of the media. I think the media, man. Without think, a doubt. I think the media are a main cause of all this animosity. Without a doubt, because you got to think, most of the people going to these football games actually read the newspaper and mm. stuff. Yeah, but he's, he's done nothing to encourage it. No, no, I don't really think he has. No. No, he's just a young lad. You know what I mean? Like he's still he's young as well. People forget that. Yeah. So what's the, but what's the media what's the media got like to gain from? Because that's what they see. Just because he's black, like because that's how they see black people in this country. In my, in my, that's that's this is my opinion. Yeah, yeah. And and, and I, I believe the media has got an agenda against black people. So against of, minorities uh, uh, in general. Uh, yeah, yeah. Peop- uh, so not black just black people. Then. Seem, do they seem to get the same sort of like? Over the, I think over the history. Yeah. yeah. Do you know? What I, do you know, what I you think? know what was even funny? Did you see? Um, did you see Chelsea post that? Embarrassing. How terrible was that? Embarrassing. Right after it, they posted. And you know like, what? The, the, oh, this is Chelsea's first black ever player. Dot dot dot. Happy birthday! Like Happy, Happy birthday. birthday to him. But he's he's in that documentary. Like straight after this Raheem Sterling thing happening. Really this good. this black guy's in their documentary. Yeah. And like he he like their first black Mate, player. Yeah. Player. And like their own fans used to like. Yeah. Like shout racist things at him. Like, like he was like, own he, he didn't even want to come on the pitch. Really? Yeah, that's how bad it was. His own fans. His, His own, own fans. fans. I think <laughs> I th- terrible enough. I think uh. the, the, like I'm not so sure that it's 
like the media outright. I think just they they want to make money, and the the people that buy papers like the kind of backwards. You know, like I don't know, I don't know, like young people buy newspapers. No, I think they're just like our audience is probably leaning this way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think yeah. it's not necessarily like, like writers being overt. Like they're just like them. we have to cater. Yeah, chicken egg. Yeah, I think like, it's got like two their audience to it. leans that way because they're putting out this stuff constantly, just yeah. trying to brainwash them. Into Subliminally as well, though, mm. like it's subtle. Mm. So the normal person would say, "Well, that's not a racist headline." Yeah, yeah. But they it adds up over time. Adds up it? over time, and it's it's how they do it yeah, and the yeah. timing. Yeah. So it's a disgrace to be honest with you. Yeah, it is. I, I definitely like, don't see how you can put the two headlines side by side and be like, I don't see anything wrong with that. Because mm. they're it's blatantly just the same story with just completely different spins. Yeah, definitely. See what I mean? <laughs> Why and even the picture's better, isn't it? Yeah. He's like, he's like, he looks like a man on a mission, whereas he looks guilty. They uh, like splashes. Yeah. Before it even it's the media are cruel, man. They're just cruel. It's like, it's the they same reason care, why, why the, the media, the reason why a lot of people associate bakers with terrorism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why they, they associate uh, a lot of Asian people with being in like grooming gangs and stuff. Yeah. Like, it's their fault. It's the media's fault, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, they've got they've got vendettas. That's what I. What do you think it is? Like, like, you think it's people like, in the media that are biased themselves that are using their platform to then. So, for example, like, like Katie Hopkins or like, something. Yeah, she's writing like articles for a newspaper. She's too. She's too stupid. She's, to have an but, agenda. No, but she's already loaded in a certain direction, right? So, of yeah, course, oh, that's why they keep Piers Morgan around mm. because they know he's going to say stupid shit, mm. and I, people f- buy into that, which gets them clicks, which I mean, gets them money. I'm mm. going to say some outrageous here, yeah, but like. I sort of don't mind Piers Morgan. Nah, you're man, a fool. I man, thought he was an idiot. Nah, but there's something, there's something intriguing about nah, him. No, he's an idiot, man. He is an idiot. He needs boycotting. He does, but yeah, like he, he does. Knows he's he an needs idiot. sparking out clean. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does. <laughs> I, said, I said to Paul Preston yesterday on uh, Twitter, I don't know if you saw it. Like, <laughs> I've seen it. It won't last a minute on no phone. <laughs> <laughs> you were aware Piers Morgan was like in charge of hacking phones. For, was it the Mirror, the Daily Mirror? I did not know that. He was the editor in chief when um, the newspapers were hacking phones to listen to like kids who were being murdered, their parents no to get scoops on the stories. Yeah. No, oh, he's he's a that's fu- Piers Morgan. He's a he, full he on scumbag. Head, head this that. is what I'm saying. Like, do you think anyone of colour that that would do something like that would have a job on on national TV? No. Do you think anyone of colour would be able to say the things that he says? I don't on think on national just, TV. I don't think it's just colour related though. I think it's a class thing as well. Mm. To think Piers Morgan comes from a certain... He's a fool. Certain types of people who He's think in that way, that think the royal family's great fool. and they think that... But what I'm saying is that if, if we have people of colour... Yeah. In the same... Like in, no, no. In the same position yeah. as Piers Morgan. They'd have to be more careful. No, no, no. no but I, I think stuff like this won't happen. More black people in boardrooms. More yeah, black yeah. people in media. Yeah. Well, none of this won't... None of this... It'd be just... We need a more multicultural media setup and oust people like him out. Yeah. Because it's not current. Yeah, it's yeah. not current. He's an absolute imbecile. Yeah. You into Sonic? Yeah, I love Come on, man. Yeah. What, Sonic trailer? No, it's, yeah, the, not seen it's it? the official um, type in. What, a, a movie? <laughs> no, just on Google. Um, yeah, good. It's a awesome. Sonic um, poster. It's Wait. like an animated poster. Mate, is so so this is a movie? Trail it up then. Ah, oh, here we go. What's that? Some sort it's of short. Video. It's the trailer. Right. It's short. You got info on it? Wish my Insta worked. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have deleted the app, man. Classic Sonic sound. Yes, man. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie out next year. Oh, so it's out, man. Yeah, them guys, man. What? Was what? Sonic and Tails. Is that it? That's yeah, it, that's bro. It, mate. Was that well, it? I know you man. wanted more. That's it, mate. You've got to put it back to the start. That was it, oh, mate. Put it back to the start. <laughs> it's quick, mate. He's fast moving, isn't he? I've seen it. I love the way it bristles up until he comes up to the screen. You see that? Everyone knows that sound, mate. Sonic's, in them the, gold rings. Sonic's the guy. What's creepy about Sonic is the way he's humanoid, though. And also, like, I I never associated him with a hedgehog as a child. Yeah, no I've, way. He looked nothing like a hedgehog. Even though he's called Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Other than that, 
Yeah, just made real hedgehogs a let down when I finally saw one. To be fair, yeah, he ain't really, he ain't really got hedgehoggy hair either. It's just kind of like standard, like Dragon Ball Z esque, mm. like anime hair, isn't it? Mm. Not particularly yeah. hedgehog. Can't diss Sonic, man. Sonic's no. the guy. Man. Are you a big fan then? Sonic and Tails. Mega Drive. Yeah, yeah. I was all about Knuckles, you know. Yeah, Knuckles. Yeah, Knuckles was, was good. Knuckles, Knuckles was, was good though. Was mate, Knuckles for hipsters, mate. <laughs> so out, man. Chill out, Knuckles. Man. You're even a fan of Sonic. I, I, I like the red Sonic. I like Sonic, mate. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if a film based around him is necessary, but. Well, but a film about Pikachu is. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, when you got Ryan Reynolds, mate. Did you see the uh, Lion King trailer? I'm not interested in watching My Man Die Again. I told you this before. <laughs> Mustafa. Mufasa. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mustafa. That's what he said. <laughs> when was that? <laughs> when I was upstairs, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. It was like, no, mate. I can't see Mustafa die again. <laughs> you know what I mean? It crippled me as a youngster, it's man. Like, who's <laughs> fucking Mustafa? <laughs> no, that's how bad it was, man. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Uh, nah, I'm not, I don't want to watch him die again, man. No. Nah. Well, it's fucking, it looks banging as fuck, doesn't it? Spotify wrapped, yeah, 2018. Yeah. Who? Spotify wrapped. Who, who got the biggest rap? We obviously know your rap. Have we got, can we get it up? Can we get shared with yeah, them? I couldn't find them separately. You, no. Yeah, you, because you, you have to do it through your Spotify. Spotify wow, what, 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 Did you put it, post it on you Insta? You posted it, didn't you? You posted yours. Oh, yeah, on, yeah, On Twitter yeah, yeah. or Facebook or something. How many, how many, how many hundred thousands of streams did you get? Oh, I think it was like 600, 600 or something, 600,000 or something, man. Yeah, yeah. tight, man. How do you feel? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? But I'm just, I just want next year to come now. I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. Like, this year's been... A, you already got it planned? A bit, yeah, I have. A bit quiet, you could say, because we've only released one song. But we're going to release another one as well, but I'm not giving you the date yet, but you'll you'll see it. It's going to be this year. But, uh, yeah, it's been a good year, but next year's going to be even better. So, I, I, it's it's great motivation. It's a great incentive. Yeah. I just want to beat it for next year. Mm. What did we get? What? 50. In comparison, oh, yeah. No, it's not a competition, it is, though, is it, lads? You know? well, it, well, it can't be. It, it, it is a little bit. Well, well, every it, single one of us is in competition well, with each other. Competition. It's, not, it's not bad competition, but it's like... It's, it's like, like when you go to the gym. It's like if you go to the gym with your mate. It yeah, makes you, bo- makes you both work harder. But, you, you know, yeah. like, oh. I'm stronger than you with that, mate. So, <laughs> see you later. No, yeah, I but I don't look at it like that, man. I'm not in competition with... I'd, my competition... Until you get too strong, like one of them balloons and just fall over. My competition really is just the scene. Yeah. The mm. UK scene. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, that's what I'm talking about, though. So it's like... It's, co- it's constant competition. Yeah. yeah. Constant. Not saying I don't look at your competition, but I think we do different sort of yeah. styles of music anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? We don't make too much trouble for each other, do we? No. Like different, that's good. different goals and shit as different. well, I think. So yeah. the thing I was really happy about with our with our rap was fifty countries. Like yeah. that's the bit I, I love. You got like sixty five, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. sixty five. Yeah. The countries is is, is yeah. a nice thing. Just think about how spread out your music gets. Like yeah, yeah, man. it's good, man. Yeah. Especially when you get like messages from people from them places as well. It's mm. always a good thing. Yeah. What, have you had any good? Cool yeah, messages? yeah. I got some messages from Poland this morning. Oh yeah. Saying what? like he loves Darcy. Yeah. And then I've had people from like Australia. America. Yeah, what's the maddest country? Like you can think of. Have you checking your insights, right? Yeah, I have. Oh, maddest countries like fucking Guatemala, it's a bit. Oh, well, I was speaking to my mate Johnny Dawson actually a couple of weeks ago about this, telling him about because I I had these Spotify stats in front of me. I can't remember, but it's been listened to a lot, like in Brazil and stuff like that. Yeah. Some mad places. Oh, when are you gonna go to Ghana? Back to your roots. Honestly, Ghana, Ghana, mate. <laughs> Don't ever insult me like that. Man. <laughs> never going back to Ghana, man. I've never been to Ghana. I never will go to Ghana. Do so you want to know about the, the ways of your people and that? They're, though, not, they're not my people. <laughs> the Black Stars are not my the, people. Yeah. No, but, of no, course, no, yeah, yeah, I'd like to go back to Nigeria. I mean, I ain't been for like, what, like 20 years? Yeah, I reckon you went there and did some shows there. Mate. Yeah, it'd be yeah. fucking yeah. kill. Said so to D's, is up for it, man, so. Be sick, mate. We've got because sure obviously that. Nigeria's at the Nigeria's the, the, the sickest African country, man. Yeah. Well, it is, isn't it? On but the West Africa. It, it, well, it is the sickest. Af- it is. It is. We 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 run things, man. Yeah. It comes to the music, yeah. Of course we do. You got a bit of a name for yourselves for other things as well. What what like? I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to yeah, get to the man. business. Stereotypical. The stereotype. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Why, why do you go work for the media? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, the media's got to start somewhere, yeah, aren't man. they? We are the media now. That's true. 
So wipe <laughs> out all them stereotypes, man. Yeah. That's what we're, that's what well, we're doing. Here. Where do you think that stereotype comes from, though? Like, as as a Nigerian, obviously there has been there has been. No, but as a Nigerian, like, do you hear that a lot? Yeah, four one nine and all that. Of course, yeah. they do. And because when I was when we was kids, it was like. Even within the African community, nah, like, they were dissing on Nigerians. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I feel that, like that my phone of... jacket mm. made it more um, sort of applicable to like the UK yeah, because yeah. he started doing that. The accent and that little sketch. Yeah, and man. then it became like this joke, didn't it? Of like, mm. oh, Nigerians. Don't bring your details and stuff. Yeah. And rob you. It's all, you know what it is? It's all hair at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. We're the greatest African nation. Yeah. Do you know what I, I mean? think that's it, though, isn't it? Because like Nigerians are really kind of. They've got a lot of initiative, um, and like, so because they're they've got ingenuity and stuff. That's a way for other people to slag them off and be like, mm. nah, they're just common. They're all common. You can't trust. Corrupt. Out. It's a corrupt country, isn't it? Well, well I suppose nearly all corrupt African countries country, are. Yeah, yeah. Country. just well, about every problem. country. It's to be just. Honest. But we're 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 trying, and we're going to get back to. Yeah. Well, you need to go back, man. Oh, great. So grab a nomination, Zed. Yeah. Do you want to pull them up? Yeah. But these are the nominations then. Yeah, so first is which is the big one in the album, album of the year. Of the year. Right. Hair. What tracks on the playlist? What not but <laughs> Hair, Brandy Charlie, Drake, Black Panther album, <sighs> Casey, Musgraves, Post Malone, Cardi B and Janelle Mona. No push your T in there. I know that's what I don't, mad, that I don't want to know then. No. I don't want to know. That's that's in my opinion. That's the album of the year. Bill, Billboard give him album of the year. I'm pretty sure. Or was it Complex? Oh yeah, Complex. Yeah, that's Complex. But hey. what a joke that that's is. A bit more specialist though. Well, there's no. There's no. I'm, I'm, I'm not. For, I admit, uh, Stan. I'm not. I really. I only know four of yeah, them. Post Malone, Cardi B. <coughs> um, I know. I know Dre. six of them. Um, <coughs> Janelle Monae. Oh, seven. I'm not massive on Janelle. Why no? Why no Kod? J Cole. Mm. I'd probably I'd probably go with Post Malone on that one I haven't listened to any of them really to have an opinion on them at all the one I've listened to the most is probably Drake's and that's only like hand picked he's probably going to get it isn't yeah he? him uh, or Cardi I reckon I, yeah. yeah probably Cardi Cardi will take <laughs> fucking record of the year Cardi will like take it. a lot of these to be honest yeah that was a fucking banger man. I like it I like you reckon it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it kind of it frustrates me when those other fucking Pumpkins come in with that. What they called? Well, Jerry, well, I'll go away. Oh, so I love what's it? What they called? Spanish. No, what? Yeah, but them two guys that come in and do most of the song. She's a parody, man. Fun being. Yeah, she's a parody. I think if I could give it to anyone, it'd be record of the year. It would be Childish Gambino record of the year. Yeah, this is America. Yeah, this is America. Definitely. Feel like that. This is America came in with like look like proper like a. Kid Atom Bob, mm, and yeah. then just it was, the vi- it was it was the, the video, video though. One. The, the song was the song's not special, is it? Really? No, not really. And then, I, I, all, then there was all the parodies like "This Is Nigeria." <laughs> yeah. That was good though, man. That was a this good. Is that was good. good. <laughs> yeah, that made me laugh. He got in trouble though, didn't he? The guy that did it. Oh, did he? Uh, yeah. Um, like, with like the Nigerian government. Yeah. Don't <laughs> said, <surprise laughs> me. said that he was making it's making look bad. Yeah. He was on Nigerian telly on that daytime telly. Best new artist. Best new artist. Probably Georgia Smith. Yeah. That's who I'd give it to. What a woman. Who's that? Georgia Smith. Smith. Is she the one that does sirens? Yeah, yeah. blue lights. Yeah, Georgia Smith. Just a fan of her. That's not really a fan of the music. Just a fan of her. Because they they've got so much hair for just being a Led Zeppelin coffee band. Yes, I seen them. Yeah, they're quite similar. young, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, it's great. I can't believe she's been but... nominated for a Grammy, Georgia, Georgia Smith, to be fair. And that Dewey Lou player, it's their book. Yeah. She's yeah. British yeah. as well, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Fair play to her. Who's her? Her. I don't know. She's, 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 she's a female R&B singer. singer. Fair. <clears throat> she could win it, to be honest. Well. But I reckon George Smith for me. Mm. So this is best pop song. Best okay. pop song. I'll probably post Malone. Oh, but Ariana Grande is going to win yeah, it. Yeah, Grande will win it. Ariana Grande will win that without a doubt. She's just yeah. dog. Fucking Beck. God is a woman. No, Beck's always about an E. Beck's always about an E. I've seen <laughs> Beck play at fucking Glastow, man. I didn't even know he was British, mate. Is he British? Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was American, man. He's British. Really? I think he's American. No, he's fucking British, mate. Yeah, sure, man. Yeah. Big Beck. <laughs> Who is he? He always wants to fucking speak. He does get about, man. Yeah, he's got, he's got some good songs. Didn't he beat Kanye to sum up before as well? Uh, 
Um, sort of, yeah. yeah. And then Kanye came up. Correction, by the way, Beck is not British. Yeah, I Dave's was. always telling me that like, fucking Beck's British, mate. If you're watching this, Dave, man. Dave, Dave. Just my mate. Uh, they, they do everything, don't they? Loads of categories. Yeah. Long night. <laughs> what? Best packaging. Best record packaging. What? Really? Yeah. Like. But you know, you know, match, match sales. Um, can boost up your ranking now in like Billboard and in the chart position. Match sales. Yeah, so like, you know Travis Scott's Astro World. Yeah. It's number one because of match sales. Sales. Really? Like, it got. Is that why Nicki Minaj had a big six, singing about? Six and eight, Yeah. Bit six. <coughs> but she was doing the same thing at the same time. So oh. that's why her argument in like. Invalid. Mm. Yeah, it's mm. invalid. Mm. But like, um, the six nine album, that did more streams than the Astro World album but the Astro World album went number one because of like merch sales that gets it boosts it up so. how the f*** does that work <laughs> yeah. has that got to do with anything it's, it's like everything now oh my god that's just wow. so stupid Shade or Rake on the podcast yes Brrr. is there any final words any final statements was you want to say was it real enough for you it was alright man I thought the questions <laughs> would have been a bit better like but yeah <laughs> uh, <coughs> Mate, I, hey, I, I gave you the chance to name some names, man. I gave you the chance to slag some people off. What it was it, like, in what field? Nah. Which what field? field was it? Oh, in the, the industry. Yeah. yeah. So just slag some off last minute. You feel like it's too it's too gentle and you want to throw some shade in now? Uh, no mean, problem. I mean, I we'll like, cut this and put it to the I beginning. Feel like it's you cool. should throw some out there as you said this is going to be the most viewed podcast ever. Mm, yeah, Darcy, the best ever song to ever come out of Full City, man. I don't care. Shameless plug, mate. I said it. Make sure you go stream it. Make sure it gets to a million streams before the new year. Yeah. Me and DZ have got um, a bad boy EP coming out early next year. Make sure you follow me, Instagram and Twitter, at Araka LD, O-R-A-K-A-L-D. And it's my birthday tomorrow. Is it? Hey, happy birthday, man. Yeah, man. How old are you going to be? Facebook's all round. 20. <laughs> <laughs> there is the new 20, man. Yeah. But, man. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I said that. Darcy, the best tunes that ever come out the city, man. I don't care what anyone says. Speak to me. Gabby is good as well. <laughs> Niger all day. Might, might be better. Ghana forever. <laughs> Wakanda forever. <laughs>